What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zenny Trapping out. Back with another video, man. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you like the video. I would appreciate it. Today we got P. Diddy is finished by Rap Zone. So without further ado, let's get straight to this video, man. Yeah. Shout out Rap Father man. still searching for his daughter, Ava Baldwin. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no. For a while now, Diddy has been on the run from the feds, trying to escape from the numerous allegations thrown his way. Now there's new evidence that could actually put him behind bars for a very long time. After the raids of his homes, the feds found some incriminating evidence. Right now, Diddy is finished, and he's on the run for his life. Keep watching till the end of this video to see P. Diddy is finished. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the number one celebrity jeweler, the Ice Champ. The Ice Champ is doing a special deal for the next 24 hours on diamond watches, chains, and more. Follow at the Ice Champ on Instagram now. Diddy is finished. Currently, Diddy is embroiled in a series of civil lawsuits and federal probes related to trafficking, as well as allegations of soliciting and distributing illegal firearms and drugs. Federal authorities have conducted searches on Diddy's properties, uncovering firearms and seizing numerous phones. Moreover, five lawsuits have been initiated against Diddy in New York since November, alleging assault, trafficking of minors, and involvement in criminal enterprises. Back in 2015, Ava Grace Baldwin, a 14-year-old girl, was declared by her parents to be missing or to have been abducted. She was last seen on September 17, 2015 in San Antonio, Texas, when she was six years old. At the time of the abduction, Ava was believed to be in the company of her non-custodial mother, Catherine Ann Baldwin, who had a felony warrant for interfering with child custody. Baldwin and Ava's father, David Hopper, held joint custody of Ava. Following Hopper's request for full custody due to concerns about Baldwin's capacity to ensure Ava's safety, Baldwin vanished with Ava. Baldwin's vehicle, a silver 2014 Ford Escape, was discovered abandoned in a San Antonio parking lot in April 2016, seven months after their disappearance. After reports emerged of Diddy's homes being raided for suspected involvement Involvement in sex trafficking, numerous individuals turned to the hip hop mogul's social media accounts, scouring for overlooked clues. Their diligent investigation bore fruit when they uncovered an old video featuring Combs and his adopted daughter, Ava Baroni Combs. In a clip from 2020, posted on TikTok Tuesday, the Bad Boy Records founder is seen asking Baroni to introduce herself to his Instagram followers during a live session. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. The teen began before Diddy interrupted her and told her to say her last name. Ever Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. The billionaire hip hop mogul then claimed that he had adopted the white child. I want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. We, but you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. But please, please. Tell the story. He said, as several other men made appearances in the background of the video. Baroni then jokingly explained how she was on the streets before Papa Combs decided that he was going to be a caring man. So, I was on the streets, and then Papa Combs decided that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. <laughs> Adding that she and the rapper's twin daughters, Jesse and Delilah, are basically sisters. Concluding the clip, Diddy clarified that the girl's name was Ava Baroni Combs before affectionately kissing her on the cheek. In the wake of the federal investigation, authorities asserted that the girl featured in the TikTok video, whom Diddy identified as his adopted daughter, could potentially be Ava Grace Baldwin, who was reported missing by her parents in 2015. Cat Williams revealed Diddy's victims. After Cat Williams had recently made known his personal experience with Diddy, he didn't hesitate to also mention the way Diddy had been involved in grooming young talent over the years, causing them to have to pay a heavy price. The comedian expressed his deep concern for the victims of Diddy's abuse and his alleged predatory behavior towards them. Williams talked about Diddy's alleged 
sexual abuse over the years in response to the various accusations made against Diddy by many women who ascertained that he victimized them in the music industry. However, Diddy's victims were not only women, males were also allegedly involved. Diddy has been caught in several scandals involving his regular tactic of housing up-and-coming male artists who were striving to become famous and successful. Under the guise of being their mentor, Diddy would allegedly expose them to a life of drugs and sexual predation. Some of the victims Williams talked about were the famous 90s crisscross boys. Even though Jermaine Dupri was the one who signed and brought them to international fame, Williams claimed both Jermaine and Diddy were involved in the spiraling downfall of the duo. He claimed that they introduced drugs to them and destabilized their lives. The crisscross team, which consisted of Chris Kelly and Chris Smith, had a major fallout from the industry in the early 2000s, and they both battled personal problems. The major one was Chris Kelly's addiction to drugs, which led to his death in 2013. The artist had taken a mixture of cocaine and heroin. The popular R&B artist Usher is also one of the young artists Diddy took under his wing. The relationship fans always thought they had wasn't even close to what really went down during Diddy's mentorship phase with Usher. Usher started living with Diddy when he was just 14 years old, but the types of things he described that they had witnessed during his stay there were definitely not what any teenager should have seen. Usher must have been traumatized by the events that took place in his early years, but would mostly smile and dodge questions relating to the situation while leaving hints for the interviewers. An interview that featured the R&B artist recorded him being asked about what he witnessed back when he was 14 and was living with Diddy. Usher just smiled and said, they were very curious things taking place and I didn't understand. This left the world believing that Usher himself might have been a victim, leaving him emotionally affected and unable to discuss the traumatic childhood he had with his so-called mentor. Another one of Diddy's victims was was Cassie Ventura, a female artist who was formerly signed to Diddy's record label. Cassie recently opened up about the encounters she had while she was under the control of Diddy. Cassie sued Diddy for sexual abuse and various other charges relating to her being frequently assaulted by the CEO. The suit, filed in November of 2023, alleged that Diddy urged her to have sex with male sex workers while he filmed and later her. The filed Damn. lawsuit turned the public against Diddy, but he immediately denied. Damn, Diddy. Bro, Diddy is done, bro. Niggas is snitching, snitching, bro. Nah, bro. And I would have had niggas signing NDAs before they come to my crib, bro. Anyway, man, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. I would appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.